The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today what we have is some information about Team of the Week. Now guys, this isn't going to be a video about the cards that are in the Team of the Week set, aside from one. And that is LaShawn McCoy. So you guys can see here, uh, there is a LaShawn McCoy that is available right now. And to get that, you are going to have to do a set. So you are going to go in, of course, collect the Team of the Week players, the T.Y. Hilton, the other offensive players to get the LaShawn McCoy. Now, the reason that I'm bringing this up is because this card basically just absolutely took a shit on another card in the game. And that is the Todd Gurley. Now, first, I want to actually pull up the LaShawn McCoy so that you guys can take a look at this thing, see some of the attributes that it has. Right now, the cheapest one up on the PlayStation 4 is 235000 for LaShawn McCoy, okay? So try and keep that number roughly in mind. I've seen it a little bit cheaper than that, but I've also seen it a little bit more expensive. But... This card is an absolute beast, man. You take a look at the attributes that this thing has. Great speed, great acceleration, all of those different types of things. I mean, it's been really quite uh, quite a beastly card as far as the attributes go. It's hard, hard to really argue that this is, you know, definitely one of the best running backs, if not the best running back in the game. And I, I just want to say, of course, this one just sold, but uh, I just want to say that it's interesting to me that this LaShawn McCoy came out when it did. Now, obviously, EA doesn't get to decide who's going to perform well on a given weekend. And, of course, LaShawn McCoy deserved a great card. However, the reason that this LaShawn McCoy card is so good is because it has the ability, uh, the, the energized chemistry, which if you guys don't remember, this was unveiled for the first time with Todd Gurley. And basically what it was is that any time that you did any sort of a ball carrier move, it replaced, it, it, I guess it replenished your stamina, basically. So your player wouldn't get as tired running down the field, especially on long runs. As we all know, stamina is a huge issue in this game. So that was one of the things that the Todd Gurley card had that the LaShawn McCoy or none of the other running backs had. Uh, but now the LaShawn McCoy comes out, and this thing has this same chemistry. So it's kind of interesting, right? Now, you would think that the LaShawn McCoy going for 235000 would be a pretty good price, and it is, especially when you compare it to the Todd Gurley, which, again, LaShawn McCoy 90 overall, Todd Gurley also 90 overall, but going for 750,000 coins, three times as expensive. You can buy three or even, you know, depending on what happens with the McCoy over the next day or two, you could potentially buy more than three LaShawn McCoys for the price of this Todd Gurley. It's absolutely ridiculous. And if you look over on the Xbox One, it's even bigger of a price difference. Like the Xbox One right now, I've seen, I saw people showing pictures of the LaShawn McCoy going for like 225,000, and the Todd Gurley was still going for almost a million coins. That's like four times as expensive for a card that's honestly not any better. The only thing that Todd Gurley is substantially better in is he has a little bit higher carrying, and his trucking and his stiff arm are way higher. Besides that, they're pretty much the same cards. Obviously, Todd Gurley's a little bit bigger as well, six foot one, two twenty two, as opposed to five foot eleven, two oh eight for McCoy. But like, it's absolutely ridiculous to me because if you take a look at the Lashawn McCoy's attributes, he crushes Todd Gurley in some of these things. If you take a look, like I'm gonna go back here and take a look at this uh, Lashawn McCoy because I just want to show you guys the numbers. I mean, it's freaking astonishing to me. First of all, the Lashawn McCoy is a higher salary cap. So that should tell you one thing. That should tell you that with the, with the 50 salary cap versus Gurley being a 48, that should tell you that EA themselves views this LaShawn McCoy as being the better card. Now, I don't necessarily know if everybody's going to agree with that. Of course, it depends on your play style. But I don't think there's any way that anybody could argue that Todd Gurley is worth three times as many coins as LaShawn McCoy. If you want a guy that can run between the tackles and, and you need a guy that's going to truck to pick up that one yard, go get yourself a silver or a gold Derrick Henry. And combine that with this LaShawn McCoy. Because I'm telling you, there's not going to be that much of a substantial difference. Like, it's insanity. You just would use that Derrick Henry, like, you know, situationally. When, when you need the first down on, you know, third and one, fourth and one, things like that. 
But other than that, you use LaShawn McCoy, man, because LaShawn McCoy is substantially better in a lot of different areas. First of all, the speed is one higher for LaShawn McCoy. The agility is five higher. Acceleration is two higher. His catching is five higher. And also, guys, other attributes that are important. Elusiveness, three higher. Ball carrier vision, four higher. Spin move, three higher. Juke move, two higher. Route running, 32 higher for LaShawn McCoy. He can go out and catch passes. Todd Gurley is just not great at doing that. Catch in traffic, he's 13 higher. Spectacular catch, he's 16 higher. Release on runs, on passing uh, routes and things like that when he gets pressed, 16 higher. Again, he crushes him in almost everything. The only areas where Todd Gurley is better are strength and then trucking and stiff arm. And that's it. And his carrying is a little bit higher as well. Other than that, he's lower than McCoy in almost every single thing down the line. So when you talk about the price difference between this LaShawn McCoy and the Todd Gurley, I'm telling you guys right now, if you have Todd Gurley, sell him. Sell him very quickly because the price on Todd Gurley is about to tank. I can't imagine why anyone would continue to buy this Todd Gurley when LaShawn McCoy is available. And I would say LaShawn McCoy is better, and he's a third or a fourth of the price depending on the console that you're on. It's absolutely ridiculous. And, I, I mean, again, the reason that this happened is because of that Energizer chemistry. If that wasn't on both of these cards, then we wouldn't be making this argument because you could at least say that Todd Gurley has that crazy thing that no other card has in the game. But that's not even the case anymore. So <laughs> I don't understand why EA decided to do that, but they did. So that's the situation that we're in, and I just want everybody to be aware of that and not waste your coins on Todd Gurley. Don't do the set to get Todd Gurley. I mean, unless you really, really want to complete the set for some reason, then you know, do your thing, I guess. But sell the Todd Gurley and then buy a LaShawn McCoy, please. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, Please do me a favor, drop a like on the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for your support. Don't freaking buy Todd Gurley, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.